Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's got a really exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing a huge collective Depop haul. So, I've never actually done one of these. However, I have recently been spending all my money on stuff from Depop. So, obviously, it is a lot of it's secondhand, pre loved. Some of it's new. Well, I think literally every novel is secondhand. So, obviously, I do do. A lot, I work with brands a lot so I do obviously have a lot of clothes from brands but when I try and do my own shopping I try and do it sustainably so that is why I'm buying most of it from Depop plus I feel like I've kind of developed a new style during quarantine quite like 2000s cute I don't know how to explain it but like I am loving the stuff I've bought like loving it so much I'm gonna try and fit it all into one video, but there will probably most likely be a part two. And I don't think I'm gonna try on the stuff in this video. I think I'm just gonna show it, or maybe I might overlay it. I'm not too sure yet. I'll probably just hold it up and show it. But I'm gonna get started. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I am literally buzzing. Sorry, I'm so happy. I'm just so grateful. I don't know what I'm grateful for. <laughs> Um, obviously every, a lot of these things are one-off items so you won't be able to buy them on again unless someone else lists the exact same thing but I will put the person's Depop shop I bought it off of on the screen so you can go give them a follow I definitely will probably do a part two because I've got more things coming and I haven't I'm not actually going to be showing you everything I have got from Depop in this video this is just like probably half of the stuff but yeah we're gonna get started i'm gonna start with things that aren't clothing so the first thing i have to show you is should i actually get the price what i paid should i get my phone so i can tell you what i paid for them yeah um i'll probably just put yeah i'll just put it on the screen so um this is the first thing i bought it is a bit ridiculous <laughs> i don't know why i bought it but i just needed it it's a working vintage Playboy radio. I'm pretty sure I spent like £100 on this. But it was so worth it. Like, genuinely, how cute is it? Like, please stand up. It works. Like, it fully works. Sorry. Sorry, what? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's pink. I feel like it was made for me. Like my mum hates me spending my money on things like obviously it's my money but she's my mum so she wants me to kind of save it for like important things and even my mum was like you need that summer and I was like right it's going in the basket I'm buying it and I had it like liked for ages but I was like my mum's gonna kill me but I showed her it and she was like you need that so yeah it's really cute that's the first thing staying on the kind of playboy theme i also got a jewelry box which i'm in love with and i've never seen anything like it they have loads and loads of these on depop though like so quite a few people are selling them so it just looks like this and i got it for quite a bargain considering it's like a vintage playboy it's got a little playboy bunny thing and then i'm not gonna open it and show you but you kind of get the gist it's quite a small one probably good for travel it obviously zips up but i'm too lazy to zip and unzip it yeah it's just really cute really good quality really good condition I literally love buying off Depop so much that you don't even realise. Then I'm going to show you two bags I got. Um, I did buy some designer things from there, but I probably will do a part two. I don't know. Or I'll just squeeze it all in this video and have like a 45 minute video. I'm going to try and be quick though. So if I do decide to include the designer things at the end, then yeah. So the first bag I got, like, I love, I actually love it. They have a few of these on Depop as well still. Betty Boop bag. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? She was selling them brand new. She had a few of them. I don't know if there's any left, but I know other sellers are selling them. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, this cost me £20. This is probably one of my most recent buyers. It is absolutely unreal. It's like a cylinder bag. How cute is that? That is like Y2K next level. And then this bag is even more Y2K. Y2K means 2000s, by the way. Um, look at it. How cute is that? It's a Bratz bag. I love the Bratz. Like, what even? It has, like, two Bratz um, dolls. Who are they? Which ones are they? 
Mm, I don't like any of them. And then they have the little brats there, and it's really good. Pretty good condition. Slightly dirty, but obviously that was stated. And yeah, I'm really excited. I like how long the strap is as well. It's like <laughs> cute, cute, cute. I'm so cringy. <gasps> then. Oh god, what is that? Oh, I thought that was a mark. Moving on to something I did buy that was designer. This is one of the first things I actually bought on Depop, um, like, in lockdown. I thought I'd treat myself to something a bit designer. It's from Dior. It's a Christine Dior little jacket. It's actually age 10. However, obviously she listed it as, like, it fits size 4 to 8. And I'm a size 6, so I was like, we'll see. And it fits really nicely, it looks cropped. The sleeves are like, kind of like three quarter length, so it looks like it's meant to be small. Like it doesn't look silly at all. It is so, so cute. Like look, Christine Dior, it's still actually got the tag on even. So yeah, it's, a, it's kids age 10, and I'm pretty sure I got this for a bargain. Like an actual bargain. She sells so many good things this seller as well. It's got a little hood. It's just pink, and I saw it and I knew I had to have it. Because of like the diamonds in the pink. I just knew I had to have it. Why am I smiling so much? Why am I smiling so much? <laughs> right, moving on because we're going to be here for actual days. Actually, I think I'm probably going to include everything in this video. I don't know though. I don't know. Let's move on to some tops I got. Hang on, here we go. Okay, so. First of all, I got these like out of some of the tops i'm going to show you i got this really cute pink um top i haven't shaved my armpits so i can all that i'm going to cover them it says glam on and it says miss evie i just thought this would be really cute it's pretty long though so i'm going to try and make it cropped i'll probably like cut it or something i don't know but yeah i just thought really cute why not and then i'm in love with this the woman or man, I don't know, it was probably a woman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. Um, was selling this for a bargain, literally. For I, I could not believe my eyes. I thought I was gonna have a panic attack when I saw it. I was like, <gasps> I need this in my life. I need it in my life. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a little white top. So yeah, pretty boring, but look at it. It's a Playboy top. It says Playboy Est 53, it's like estimated. I think is that what it means? <laughs> But look, it's so, so cute. It's got cute sleeves. And obviously it's real Playboy. They have cut the tag out. But you can, you know, you can just tell. You can just tell. It's size 12, but it fits me so well. And I'm a size 6. So, absolutely love it. Like, look. Right, next thing I got. Um, I know she, I think she actually says she watches my videos, this one. So, um, hi if you're watching. Um, I don't know if you are. I might have got this completely wrong. But um, I've got this really cute top. Well, it actually, it's a bodysuit. I haven't worn it yet because it's been too hot. And I just haven't got around to wearing it. But it's this Nike bodysuit. It's, it looks like a baby girl. It's really cute. Um, yeah, it's, it smells really nice. Whoever sold this to me has a nice natural smell. Um, it's size so small. And it just is pink. And I just feel like it looks really like cute and retro y. Does that make sense? I just think it looks retro. If it don't, then I'm just cringy. Yeah, I really, really like it, and that was a bargain. The next thing I got, oh my god, I get hair stuck on me all the time. The next thing I got was this really cute top. They have got a few of these on Depop still. Um, I don't even know where it says UK8, but it's a little bit big, but I just, I tend to like tie it up and make it cropped anyway. And I don't know what it says on it. It says Bara to be, I don't know. But yeah, I just thought this is really cute for summer, and why not? So yeah, I got that. And then I literally just got this through the post. I am obsessed with this. It's brand new with the tags on, so I don't know where it's originally from. But it says on it, oh, I, I am hottie, cute, and psycho. Obviously, I don't think I'm a hottie. Sometimes I do, you know. Sometimes I'm feeling hottie. Um, that sounded like I said a, a rude word. But yeah, I absolutely love it. It's so, like, I feel like I've never seen anything like this. So I just needed it. Love it. So cute. The next thing I got I was obsessed with, this was a little bit more pricey because um, it was like quite rare. It is the nicest top I've seen in my life. I wore this to Blue Water the other day. It is made for me. It's this Princess Vegas girl. How cute and glam is this top? Seriously, I think I bought it for like £30. It was a little bit ridiculous for a top. But I saw it and I was just like, you know what? I need that. I can't see that on Depop and then just leave it there. Do you get what I mean? I'm not that kind of girl. I don't see a top and leave it there. I see a top and I buy it and then I've got it in my hands. It's sharp somewhere. 
but it's just really unique and I love it. You get the gist. Moving on swiftly. This really cute bandeau. Um, I just I just saw it and I've seen a lot of people with this print at the moment, and it's just a white bandeau. So sugar and spice. Sugar and spice and things nice. That's really weird. Um, yeah, I really 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 like it. The next thing I got are. Oh, again so cute i feel like a four-year-old wearing it but why not it's a pink top and it says bubblegum flavor on i know it says bubblegum club and then real fruit fruit flavors and then it lists some flavors there it's quite small on me but i quite like it um yeah i really 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 like it trick is you can get really cute clothes that are kids sizes but a lot of them will fit like a size four to six even sometimes an eight so cute little trick yeah i love it so much and then this top I'm obsessed with. I, I'm a little bit confused. Like I don't. I thought it was from the sports dancewear brand Pineapple, but it says Pinny Apple on, and I don't really know. Like is it a fake or what? But yeah, I just saw it. I thought it was really cute. It's quite small, but I can get away with wearing it. Uh, I've seen quite a few of these on Depop. It's just really simple, really sweet. It has like little lettuce trimmy kind of thing at the bottom. Yeah, I really like it. Really, two thousand and cute. The next thing I got, I am so excited to wear. It's so cute. It's a Playboy top again. Oh god, I love it. I'm, oh, it makes me so happy. I've got hair on it. Some of the diamonds have fallen off, but I didn't really care, so I just bought it anyway. It is an old vintage Playboy top. It just says Playboy, and then it says, what does it say? All what? All play and no work makes a happy bunny. You know. Um, yeah, I'm a happy bunny with my happy top. Love it. I just thought it was really cute and old school. And then I've got this top, which I actually wore the other day, and I really, really like it. It's from... It's like... Who remembers when New Looks tags were like that? 915 generation. It's like an old top. This one did have a little hole in it, which I don't think she... Did she say? Yeah, I think she said. I don't know. But I was like, I need it anyway. I just thought it was really cute. It's a baby blue top, and you can't really see it on camera, but it says babe, and it's like glittery. And it's really, really, really cute. And I just thought, I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my life. Right, okay. We've I showed you that set of items. Now, oh, I forgot to show you this jumper. This jumper, I saw. I was like, hi. Hi, jumper. Do you want to come in my life? It's a, I haven't even worn it. Have I? I don't know. It's like a retro Tinkerbell one. It's quite um worn. But. It is so cute. It's embroidered, so it's really good quality. It's not the softest inside, but I just thought, how cute is that? I mean, I can't, I can't leave that there on Depop. I can't just scroll past it. You know what I mean? So I had to buy it. And guess what? I bought it. So yeah, I love it. It's really cute, and it's baby pink. It was just made for me. What can I say? Now I've got some bottoms to show you. I'm probably gonna fit all the stuff in this video because I think that'll be a better idea. The next next thing i have to show you is this skirt here this is so cute i couldn't believe my eyes it's gap kids um it's size for age 13 but it fits me perfectly this will probably fit like even a size like 10 it's quite big it is so cute it's from gap and it's just this really cute little blue skirt and even better at the bottom it says gap and it's like sparkly and i can just tell this is from years ago because you don't see cute things like this anymore and usually Gap, like the actual Gap store you just walk past, you know what I mean? Like, does anyone actually go in Gap? Do you get me? Like, I swear all their stuff just says Gap on. Is that just me? I don't know. But yeah, I really, really like it. And it's really soft and nice. And then I got two, like, school tennis skirt kind of things. So I got this pink one. They've both got shorts underneath. And it looks like this. And this is really sweet. The fit is a little bit weird around my waist, I can't lie, but... I'm so glad it's got shorts on because my legs are so long and when I buy things they're always way too short for me. But yeah, I really like that. And this blue one I got is so nice because it's you can alter the waist, so this one's even better. This has got blue shorts inside. This one definitely feels better quality. Yeah, and the girl that sold this to me was really lovely. They were, they were all really lovely to be fair. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I love tennis skirts. So, so cute then i've got these juicy bottoms so <laughs> these are age 14 so they are quite short on me but they fit me like around the waist really nicely i actually did like a little photo shoot in these 
I wouldn't wear these out. I did just buy them for photos, really. So I probably will resell them on my Depop. So watch out. Um, by the way, guys, you all know I get bored of stuff easily. So you'll probably see all this. You'll probably see it eventually all on my Depop. Do you know what I mean? I, all, I, ba I always buy things and then I wear them a few times. And I just sell them and rebuy other things with the money. Because I get so bored of wearing the same things. But yeah, anyway, these are like um, really cute juicy bottoms. They are flares. So I put, I just personally don't feel very confident wearing flares out. So that's why I wouldn't wear them out. But other than that, really, really super cute. And they, they smell nice. Some people's natural smells. And I'm just like, give me your natural smell. But yeah. And then I've got a two-piece. So it's this really, really cute top. It says might on this was a bargain it was like six pound literally six pound and then the bottoms are the bottoms <sighs> my mum was like you can only wear that on holiday i was like okay sorry it's this really cute skirt that says might on i think it says might and then it's like got attached like cute knickers that you tie up on your hips but yeah um that's all the stuff i was going to show but i'm going to show the rest i'm going to go put all this back quickly and then i'm going to um bring out the other set of stuff I'm back with the second half of the stuff because I just wanted to do it all in one video. So yeah, so I got this white skull. I had a black one, but I hate wearing, I literally have no black clothes in my wardrobe. So I thought, why not get a white one? Because I just like wearing lighter colours personally. It's just a really cute skull. It's size six from I saw it first, but obviously I bought it from the seller. Uh, yeah, it fits really nicely. I absolutely love it. And then I got this really really nice jacket i absolutely love it it looks so cute and like vintage it's from puma and size eh? size 12 it's definitely not size 12 it's more like a size i'd say eight because it's slightly oversized on me it's really nice i have worn this in a picture i wore it to the beach and there's a little puma sign really cute and pink it just looks really white okay i love it i love 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 it and then I got this Juicy Couture top. This was, I'm pretty sure this was like a big bargain as well. And I've never seen anything like this. So it just says the Juicy in like a line down. And it's like towel material, the Juicy bit. And this is size 10. That is definitely not a 10, it's tiny. I'd say it's even nearly too small for me. So I'd say it's more like a four. <laughs> but yeah, the sleeves are really cute. Oh, maybe it means age 10. I don't know. It, it's definitely not a size 10 but yeah it's really really sweet and i just oh i love it i have worn this i wore it to my nan's the other day um socially distancing obviously guys and then i got something really exciting i actually can't put this can i put the sellers thing i don't think i can because i didn't buy i bought it via i just transferred the money on paypal because um she wanted me to buy it obviously hang on I offered her a price and she was like, yeah, I can do that, but can we do it free PayPal? So don't let the seller's name, I'm very sorry. But these are the best things I've seen since sliced bread. They are pink juicy couture bottoms. They are just the black label ones. They are the tight cuffed ones at the bottom. So my favourite. They have the little juicy. They come at such a nice level on your waist. They're size extra small. And they have the little pockets on the booty. Literally my favourite thing ever. I've worn this every week going shopping. I love them so much and they make your booty look good okay next thing i've got to try on you want no i'm not trying them on what am i going about i've been used to filming whole set i'm going to try stuff on i've got this lipsy top it is so cute it says lipsy angel on it i like wearing it more cropped so i like tight with a hairband it just has the diamond tees it's really cute and then I got this, and I don't actually know how to wear it. Can someone tell me? The seller obviously was wearing it as a top in the photo, but I don't know how to put it on. It's like, do you do it like that, maybe? Do you? Like, I don't know, but I got it because it looked cute and, like, really edgy. I don't know, I'm not edgy, but I tried to be. Then I got this really cute little top thing. I've worn this quite a few times, actually. It is just this little cute crop top it's more of a bralette i wore it to the beach but yeah it's really sweet i like the color i'm so hungry not relevant summer i then got the, literally my favorite tops it is so unique and so cute it's from dkny and it looks like this it's kids age eight but it's like really cropped on me and really cute it still like fits nice bit tight around the boobies but we're going to go with it 
it is so sweet and i like how it looks like i don't know like someone's sewn on like little patches of like a cushion i don't know but it's really cute i then got this top um <laughs> this looks a bit weird it reminds me of when i was a little girl but this is next go on and um i wear it cropped it's just like a really cute little top like it's very 2000s and cute and then i got this top this was a bargain as well it was it's from juicy couture it's more of a pajama kind of top i'd say i don't really know but yeah it looks like that it just says what does it say juicy by what juicy by juicy couture I'll probably wear this in like bed. Oh no, that'll be cute. I'll tuck it into shorts. And then I got this top, which I love. I've not got anything in this colour. It's so cute. And it's a, it's um, a guest top. You can tell this is really old because they do not sell things like this anymore. The colour makes my eyes stand out, so I'm really happy about that. And um, this seller's amazing. She sells so many cute like Y2K stuff. So yeah, I absolutely love the top. And then I've got... We're nearly coming to the end, guys. Who's sad? I'm sad. We've got this really cute skirt. It is just... I swear I bought another thing off this seller. Did I? Did I buy another thing off this seller? I swear I did. But I can't remember what. Someone help me out. Oh, okay. That'll probably be in part two because I can't bother to get that out of my wardrobe. There will be a part two, but probably in like another month. I don't know. Um, this is the skirt i got it is like burberry print it's really really sweet and it fits really nicely and i love it this one hasn't actually got um shorts under by the way guys i just want to say i haven't just bought all this in one go this has been since we first got into lockdown so it's been a like over a period of a long time then then i got two o poly skirts i just thought why not and they were selling them for cheap these look tiny but they do stretch like they fit me this is a just a normal o poly skirt it's just really soft just plain i thought it would be cute for just a summer like pairing with anything and i've got this really nice one this has still got the tags on well they haven't got them anymore because i pulled them off this is really nice yellow ruched skirt <laughs> so you think i'm skinny sorry yeah obviously it stretches i was gonna wear this the other day but then i took it off that's why i took the tag off but yeah um it's really cute and yellow i love it and then I've got a two-piece, which I love. The skirt's slightly too big, though, which I'm a bit sad about, but my nan could alter it. This is a skirt. It's pink velvet. And then it comes with this matching top that says, Burry Beyond. Come on, Barbie, let's move on. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it just looks like that. It says Barbie. I love this top so much. I've worn it on my Instagram. But yeah, it's really cool. And I wish the skirt fit me, but here we are. And then we've got some like cute little random bits. I got these really cute sunglasses for pictures. Uh, they were really cheap, but yeah. Sorry, that was really cringy. <laughs> I just thought that'd be cute for pictures, so I got them. I got this hat, which looks awful on me. So see it on my Depop soon. Um, it is so nice. Like that could have so much potential. It's so so pretty, but it just don't suit me. I don't know whether it's because I've got I've got quite a small head. But my forehead's big, so I think that might be the issue. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good on me, but it's really, really cute. I then bought an empty perfume bottle. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Um, because... Oh, has it still got anything in? No. Oh, God, I thought it had something in then. Oh, it's a nice smelly one. I wanted to get one ones that were more pink, but, you know, I don't want to buy the perfume for, like, £80. So I want to buy an empty perfume bottle. That's a good tip for display um it's just this prada one is it called like candy or something i don't know oh it is prada candy really cute is someone ringing me is someone ringing me no where was i imagining that from anyway love it and then i got this oh my god amazing ignore what's in it it's something from venice that i smashed but i want to get rid of this custom made glass she has quite a few of them on there they are so cool she makes she like they're made to order so when you order them she makes them for you and it actually came quite quick considering she makes them so cheap i couldn't believe it girl you should up your prices i'm just gonna say you need to up your prices because this is cute i got the daisy duck one it's got all like beads on it and um obviously daisy i don't even know where she gets these figurines from they're so cute yeah i can't believe how cute they are um yeah and then i've got this in it you can obviously put anything in it or you can actually have it as a wine glass but i wouldn't want to risk it smashing do you know what i mean and then we're going to move on to my designer stuff so i'm going to show you one thing i did get from ebay but i wanted to show you it anyway because like 
because I did. I don't, I don't know. I wanted to show you it because it's really, really cute. Um, yeah. I have. Oh, have I got other things? I have got some more things in my wardrobe. I've got some knickers that I bought. I'll probably put them in a part two. I don't know. <laughs> I got some Dior sunglasses. They're all real and everything, and I absolutely love them. So they look like this. They've got all the um like code on them so i know they're real they come in they came in their little it's a bit battered but their little dior box and they've got um this strappy thing honestly pete some people are gonna hate these but i love them i literally love them i think they look so white uk they remind me of sharpay so much you can obviously you can take this shield off but it says dior and dior on the sides and i just like them they're pink i mean you can't really get more sharpay than that girls and boys so i was proud of them i got them off, off got them off ebay though and then i bought two bags from depop <laughs> oh i treated myself to some designer bags so these were bargains when i tell you i'm oh so i got this christian dior one it comes in this dust bag this one's a little bit battered but i do really like it it's from the 2000s so I had to have it. I love this print. Everyone knows the pink Dior print is amazing. Although people are making a lot of fakes of them recently, so you've got to be careful. This one is real because I have the um, it's got the code in it and everything, and it's actually proof. Obviously, you had proof. It was authentic. It is the most gorgeous Dior bag you'll ever see in your life. It looks like this. It's a bit misshapen because it's been in my um, wardrobe crumpled up because I don't really have anything where to put it. But it looks like this. How unreal is this bag? how unreal i don't like see-through bags so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to primark and buy like a little pink makeup bag to fill it out so you, it will just be pink inside and then put myself in the makeup bag does that make sense but i love it so much it was such a bargain i could not believe it has got a few minor issues to it so like um it's got a bit of crack in there someone's tried to like repaint it i think but other than that i love it and it's so cute like imagine walking around in paris with it like oh sorry bags do bits to me like i'm not even gonna lie they make me happy they make me happy girl <laughs> love it ah sorry i'm getting so excited and then the last thing i'm going to show you in this haul is another designer bag which i bought and i'm very happy with it comes in chanel uh yeah i just wanted to treat myself you know why not let me show you all oh <gasps> hello little baby um i love it look guys it's a little pink chanel bag it's got the chanel on it and this is the proof it's real obviously inside it's got the little um coat oh, you can't even see it's got the little coat um yeah you've always got to check if anyone wants me to do a video on like all my designer stuff and like explain how you can find designer stuff second hand and stuff like that i also bought a chanel purse but i'm reselling it and a dior skirt but i'm reselling that so i'm not going to show you it in the video but yeah um if you want me to do videos and talking about how you decipher real from fake i can do that because i'm so good like if there's a talent i have it's being able to tell if something's real or fake i am so good at it like i don't know why i just am but yeah this is really really cute this was another bargain it has like two compartments so it has that compartment and then this compartment and it's just all very exciting it's got a little zip with chanel paris on and like is that yeah it's got four leaf clover that's so cute oh here's the authenticity card i didn't even know it came with one. Oh yes i did i thought it was a person that came with one but it was this this is the authenticity card try and make sure they do have one of these authenticity cards which will definitely tell you they are but you can obviously still get things that are real without the authenticity card because some people may have lost it or whatever but you never know but yeah that's the proof it's real so that is everything i got from deep well it's not everything i am leaving out a few things like accessories wise like <coughs> i bought some jewelry and all that so if you do want to see a part two i've got more things coming from depop if you want to see a part two then make sure you comment down below and i sure will because i do not stop buying from there i've got really tiggly cough <laughs>
um yeah so thanks so much for watching and i love depop and i hope you can check out some of these sellers i bought off of and my depop will be in the description too i love you all so much bye